Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lastly here. Welcome to another Squad Builder today. Today we've actually got a really, really enjoyable team. I absolutely loved playing with these guys. Um, but first off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, be sure to check out UC Coin Traders. As always guys, the link is going to be down in the description below for you. Right, let's get things started. In goal today, we're going to be using our first blue card. It's going to be Team of the Season Mignolet. He has got 85 diving, 84 handling, and 85 reflexes as his standout stats. Uh, and he was actually a really solid player. Uh, a decent keeper. Saved a lot of a lot of shots. Didn't let too many um, terrible goals go in. There might have been one or two where he, he probably could have stopped it, but he sort of parried it into the net. But other than that, I mean, for the sort of 35k that you're going to pay for him, you get yourself a nice uh, blue card. Good nation, good league, and, you know, what, what more can I say? He's a good player. Um, right, moving on. Left back is going to be our only really, really cheap player of this squad, and that is going to be Kieran Gibbs. Uh, and I thought I could have tried his uh, inform out again, but I wanted to just try this card, see if it could do anything. And I was surprised at how good it was. He actually scored an absolute worldie for me, which I'll show in the clips at the end of the video. Um, wasn't expecting that from someone with 58 shooting. But he, he's actually a pretty solid card for the price you pay. Like He's got enough pace. Um, the only thing is he's a little bit small. So sometimes can get out strength and stuff like that. But, you know, so be it. Right, right back for this team is going to be the only silver player of this of the squad. And it's going to be this guy. Upgraded Van Rin, I'm going to call him. Uh, I think that's probably how you pronounce it. And look at his stats, man. They're incredible. I was so impressed with this guy. I was a little bit sort of like, meh, why would I put a silver in, in a team full of TOTS players and informs and stuff? Uh... And I'm so surprised at how incredible this guy is on this game. Awesome. 85 pace, uh, great passing, great dribbling, great defending and heading for someone uh, who is a silver right back. He is really, really good. Cost me 8,000 coins, I believe, and uh, I'm not looking back. He's just such a good player. Really great link for, my, uh, for the upcoming players in this squad. Right. First centre back of the team. It's going to be gold. It's probably going to give away uh, the other one. But we have got this guy. Alderail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pronounce it like that. Probably not how you say it at all. Um, but again, surprisingly impressed with this guy as well. 69 pace. I normally stick to, to centre backs with 70 or more pace. So this was me going out of my comfort zone. And uh, his positioning was incredible. He he's got very good slide tackles as well, and he seemed to um, block a lot of shots. He he. He wasn't obviously that quick, so there was a, a couple of times where the striker would be through and he's going to pull away from this guy. Um, but positioning-wise and stuff and blocking-wise, he was a really great player. did enjoy him. Uh, and now you can make an even better Belgium squad because of this guy. Uh, and then, moving on, other centre-back of the team is going to be second in form, Koscielny. Tried and tested. He's one of my favourite centre-backs on this game. Uh, 76 pace, 87 defending and 84 heading. Really great stats on him. Uh, and whatever um, the Belgian guy, I'm not going to pronounce his name again, whatever this guy couldn't mop up, Koscielny often managed to get because he's so fast. Uh, he definitely feels faster than the 76 pace that his card has been given. And um, really good little partnership between them two, which is great. Right, the centre mid of this team is going to be from France. Uh, and he's going to play in Ligue 1 for Saint-Etienne. And that is going to be this guy, Kohade. Uh, I'm using him for chemistry reasons that you'll see as we move up the pitch. Um, but I was a little bit like, eh, he cost me 12.5k, doesn't look that brilliant. But wow, this guy was in insane at like being that holding midfielder and just blocking a lot of stuff, intercepting, and great passing as well on him. And he was a very solid player uh, with a surprisingly nice shot on him as well. Didn't notice the fact that he only has 69 pace, although that's not too bad for a centre mid, especially a central one. Um, he's he's not he doesn't move too far up the pitch and down the pitch. He's always kind of near that semicircle, uh, and he was a good player. Really, give him a shot if you've got a cheap French inform squad going on or something, because he was enjoyable to play with. Uh, right, moving on, we have got a Spanish centre mid. So to complete a little Arsenal triangle here, we have got the team of the season, Santi Cazorla. And he's one of my faves in this game. He's awesome. He's got uh, This card has got an incredible pace boost, uh, incredible passing and dribbling and shooting boost. He's got them four-star skill moves and a five-star weak fit, which is just awesome. Um, that helps him out 
an awful lot when it comes to to shooting on both feet you know because he's a a left center mid there he he can literally cut inside or he can take it wide and have a shot uh, and he's also a good good free kick taker for this team as well so a good player there uh, then finally the the final player is going to be from Denmark and it's going to be this guy Christian Eriksen who is kind of like nearly a carbon copy of Santi Cazorla uh, they've both got four star skill moves and a five star weak foot uh, Eriksen has got 86 pace, so a little bit better than Kazola. 81 shooting. His long shots have got a little bit left to be desired, but they are all right now. This card has got an, an, a significant boost in his long shots and stuff, so he can actually hit them quite well. An 88 passing and 90 dribbling. Really solid stats there. Uh, you might think that this midfield is a little bit attacking, with the two wide midfielders being quite, quite attacking, with pretty sh shoddy defending, to be honest. Um, but the fact we've got some good defenders here and then this guy is a central unit, uh, it really worked well. And I found myself having enough there in the defence, but also really having a lot of players going forward as well, which is great. Santi Cazorla and Eriksen helping out with our big front three. Um, right, moving on. Left forward for this team. It's going to be someone I incredibly enjoy. He's so good. And that is Payet or Payet. Uh, 89 pace, 87 shooting, 87 passing, and 86 dribbling. Man, this guy is a little god. Uh, for the 130k I paid for him, uh, I am so happy with my purchase. I used him in Tots versus Sweat earlier on, you know, last Monday, and just really, I got a lot of goals and stuff, and set a lot of clips up. No, set <laughs> set clips up. Set a lot of goals up for my strikers. Uh, from a left mid in a 4-4-1-1 uh, and moving him up to left forward was something I really wanted to do to see how he performed uh, up there, you know, what kind of right next to the strikers. And to be honest, he was a little bit worse up here. I think it was because we've got a load of big names in this squad, Ericsson, Kazola, and the next two players are quite big. Um, so he underperformed a little bit, I guess, uh, but still above average player, really enjoy him, uh, a decent player indeed, highly recommend him. Uh, right, the right forward is going to be someone I've wanted to try ever since Tots vs Sweat on Monday. Uh, I used his regular card, and that is Aubameyang. I used his regular card, thought he was very, very good, so I wanted to try this one out. And again, I wanted to play him at right forward, so that he kind of felt like a striker. Uh, and, God, this card is good. 96 pace. <laughs> that is ridiculous. 86 shooting. The guy's got 99 finishing and a nice long shot on him. Uh, which makes him awesome. Like he's got the pace. He's quite tall as well, six foot one, uh, and he's quite strong. And he's got a lovely shot. I mean, there's not much more you need apart from a few skill moves uh, that he could have. Um, you know, other than that, he's kind of perfect. Really, he's a great player. Good dribbling as well. Good heading as well. He's just a good player. Uh, I paid two hundred and thirty thousand coins for him. Uh, I'm very happy with my purchase. And then the final player, you might be able to guess. Haven't sold him yet. His big Zlatan. He's so good. I don't want to get rid of him. Uh, I don't want this man leaving my club because I love him so much. 83 pace is so noticeable now. Uh, that is the one thing I would really say that you can notice on this guy. It's just, mate, <laughs> he's, he's had a pace boost enough to really burst past defenders. 96 shooting, 86 passing. 92 dribbling and 85 heading. What a god. I paid 3.2 million, so I'm bound to lose a bunch of coins. But it's worth it because this guy is incredible. So I hope you've enjoyed the squad builder. I'll show you some goals in a second. I would absolutely love to hit 1,500 likes on this video. That would be insane. Uh, really thank you guys for your support. As always, you guys just... You're, you're awesome, you know. You really show the love with the views and the likes and stuff. You guys are incredible. Um, right, so let's move over and show you some goals. Okay, goal time. So first up is a nice header there from Alderweireld. I think that's how you're gonna. That's how I'm gonna pronounce his name. He was actually a really good centre back for someone who's got less than 70 pace. I liked him a lot. Then we got a smasher there from Gibbs. Oh my god, what a goal! I just I couldn't believe it when it went in. Uh, a nice free kick from Santi Cazorla, 
Uh, he's obviously got them fantastic stats on his team of the season card. Now I think we move on to a couple of goals from Christian Eriksen. Showing here that he was actually a really good little attacking midfielder. Uh, I know I was playing in the wide centre mid, but he pushed up quite well. Uh, and as you can see here, got fairly central. Shot blocked there, but then a lovely, lovely finish into the top of the net. A great player. Looking forward to playing with him in a central cam position. Uh, now moving on to the couple of goals I scored with Paye. Um... Funnily enough, I preferred him at left mid in the Tots vs. Sweat squad from last week than I did at left forward in this squad. Bit weird, but uh, it was just the case. I much preferred him there, to be honest. Now, Aubameyang. Look at the dribbling, tight dribbling, wiggling stuff that he's got here. A nice finish to go with that as well. And then this was probably the best goal I scored with the team. I went a bit nuts when this went in. I just wasn't expecting it to drop underneath that bar. And oh my god, what a lovely goal. And uh, Now, Ibra. His pace increase is so noticeable and that makes him the best player I've ever used on this game. He's so awesome. Looking forward to using him again already. Um, so you'll see a few goals here that I did score. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said, I would absolutely love to hit 1,500 likes on this. Uh, tomorrow we've got another squad. We've got, actually, if you hit that 1,500 likes, I think I might even bring back the random pick tomorrow. Yeah, I could do that for you guys. So, get liking. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, and if you want to see the, r the random pick, the expensive edition, then drop a like on this video and leave a comment. That would be great as well. Um, so, thank you for watching, guys. Lovely finish there. Nice little skills and stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.